The 2004 hurricane season is one that will be forever remembered across Florida. This year, Florida was impacted by five tropical systems in a six-week time frame. These systems spawned around 280 tornadoes across the southeast U.S. and up into the eastern seaboard and caused over $51 billion in damages from their strong winds, flooding rain, and high storm surges along the Florida coastline. It started with Tropical Storm Bonnie, making landfall just south of Apalachicola in the Florida Panhandle on August 12, 2004. The next afternoon on August 13, 2004, at around 3.45 p.m., Category 4 Hurricane Charlie made landfall in Cayo Costa, a barrier island in southwest Florida. About an hour later, a secondary landfall occurred in Punta Gorda, Florida. Charlie was a strong but very compact hurricane and maintained its hurricane strength well inland as it moved across the Florida Peninsula. Category 2 Hurricane Francis was next, making landfall on the Atlantic side of the state on the southern end of Hutchinson Island on September 5, 2004. It crossed the state, re-emerging into the Gulf as a tropical storm around Newport Ritchie. Francis did not strengthen over the Gulf of Mexico and made a second landfall still as a tropical storm in the Florida Big Bend near the mouth of the Osceola River on September 6, 2004. Hurricane Ivan, while technically making landfall just to the west of the state in Gulf Shores, Alabama on September 16, 2004, had a 40 to 50 mile diameter eye, which brought the strongest winds and highest surge values into the western Florida Panhandle. The final hurricane to impact the state in 2004 was Hurricane Jean. Coming just 20 days after Hurricane Francis, on September 25, 2004, Hurricane Jean made landfall in almost the same location on the southern end of Hutchinson Island as a Category 3 hurricane. In this video series, we will be looking back at the 2004 hurricane season and discussing some personal accounts from the season, lessons learned, inland impacts, disaster fatigue, and how improvements have been made to make our area more resilient against storms for the future.